हेलो स्टूडेंट्स वेलकम टू माई सीरीज ऑफ नेटवर्क थेरी लेक्चर्स नाउ वी आर गोइंग टू स्टार्ट विथ द लेक्चर ऑन रेजनेंस इट इज द सेकेंड लेक्चर सो विल कंटिन्यू विद द सीरीज रेजनेंस टॉपिक सो नाउ विल सी एप्लीकेशन ऑफ द सीरीज रेजनेंस सर्किट एज अ वोल्टेज मैग्नीफायर सो नाउ वी आर हैविंग द रेजनेंस सर्किट विच इज अ सीरीज कॉम्बिनेशन ऑफ इंडक्टर कैपेसिटर एंड अ रेजिस्टेंस टू विच अ सप्लाई वोल्टेज वी एस इज कनेक्टेड एंड वी आर अज्यूमिंग अ पॉजिटिव हाफ साइकिल सो करंट डायरेक्शन इज इन दिस लूप दट इज इन द क्लॉक वाइज डायरेक्शन नाउ आई एम इंडिकेटिंग द वोल्टेज अक्रॉस इंडक्टर एज वी एल वोल्टेज अक्रॉस द कैपेसिटर एज वी सी and voltage across the resistance as vr now voltage across the inductor will be its reactance that is omega l and its impedance is plus j omega l into the current r which is flowing in the circuit now at the resonance what is the current as inductor and capacitor they have cancelled each other only r remains so we can say that current at resonance is equal to supply voltage upon the resistance so this formula i will substitute here so i will say that inductor voltage at resonance is j omega at resonance l into current is supply voltage upon the resistance now which is this term omega l divided by r it is the quality factor at resonance so we'll say that inductor voltage at resonance is j quality factor at resonance which is shown by q0 into the supply voltage that is vs now what is q0 q0 is the quality factor and we know that it indicates the energy storing capacity so quality factor has to be greater than 1 that means energy stored has to be greater than the power dissipated so quality factor has to be greater than 1 so i can say that inductor voltage at a resonance is greater than supply voltage by quality factor times so it is acting as a voltage magnifier similarly we can find out the voltage across capacitor so now i am going to write down the equation for capacitor voltage again it will be the impedance offered by capacitor that is minus j upon omega c into the current r now we are interested in finding out capacitor voltage at resonance so it will be minus j upon omega is the resonance frequency omega r capacitor as it is and current is supply voltage upon the resistance now we know that this term it is 1 upon omega cr it is nothing but the quality factor of the series resonance circuit so we'll say that the capacitor voltage at resonance is minus j q0 times the supply voltage so again we can say that as quality factor value is greater than 1 hence the capacitor voltage at a resonance is also greater than the supply voltage and from the equation we can see that it is just equal to the inductor voltage in magnitude the inductor voltage was inductor voltage at resonance was plus jq0 vs and capacitor voltage is minus jq0 into vs so it indicates that their magnitudes are same but their angles are opposite this plus a indicates that its angle will be plus 90 degrees and magnitude will be q0 times supply voltage this minus j indicates that its magnitude is q0 vs with the angle minus 90 degrees so if we plot the phasor diagrams with this vc and vl we can say that current is the reference quantity then inductor voltage is leading the current by the angle 90 its magnitude is q0 times supply voltage 
angle is plus 90 so it is leading capacitor voltage is also q0 times vs this is lagging behind that is shown by this minus and degrees angle so and what about vr it is along the current so we can say that inductor voltage and the capacitor voltage they are equal and opposite so they cancel each other so only vr remains and that is equal to supply voltage so total supply voltage appears across the resistance okay so this is about the application of the series resonance circuit as a magnifier circuit then after this we'll see how the voltage varies actually for the capacitor and for the inductor with respect to frequency so first we are going to derive when we are going to get maximum voltage that is the capacitor voltage which changes in frequency so i will write down the equation of capacitor voltage now equation of capacitor voltage will be its impedance that is minus j upon omega c into the current r in general we can say that the capacitor voltage is given by this equation and so the magnitude of the capacitor voltage will be 1 upon omega c into the magnitude of current now how to get this current this is a series circuit through which i have shown i as the current so i is equal to total supply voltage that is vs divided by the total impedance of the circuit which is r plus j omega l minus 1 by omega c this is the current equation now if we find out magnitude of this current magnitude how do we find out magnitude of the current will be supply voltage divided by root r square this real term square plus imaginary term square so it is omega l minus 1 by omega c square okay so this magnitude of the current i will substitute in this equation to get the voltage of the capacitor so now i will put this over here and i will say that capacitor voltage magnitude is 1 by omega c which is the magnitude of the capacitive impedance into magnitude of the current is vs divided by root of r square plus omega l minus 1 by omega c square okay so this is the voltage equation for the capacitor now what we are interested in we know that the capacitor voltage at a resonance is quality factor times the supply voltage but as my omega changes the reactance offered by capacitor also changes so i am interested in the frequency at which this capacitor voltage is going to be maximum so in order to find out that maximum condition i should differentiate this voltage that is the capacitor voltage with respect to omega and equate it to zero that will give me the maximum uh, condition that means the frequency at which the vc will be maximum so how should i go about it vc includes the root term so it will be difficult to analyze that frequency so what i will do now i will square the voltage vc okay so now vc square will be 1 upon omega square c square vs square and this root sign it will disappear so this is the equation that i am getting now i have to differentiate this vc square with respect to omega and this i will have to equate to zero so now here derivative of u by v rule i will use so this is the numerator which i will indicate by u and this is the denominator which i will indicate by v so as per u by v rule first i should take denominator term it is my v okay or i will say it is denominator into derivative of the numerator numerator is vs square that is the supply voltage 
विच वी आर नॉट चेंजिंग दिस वी एस इज कॉन्स्टेंट वी आर जस्ट चेंजिंग द फ्रीक्वेंसी ऑफ द सप्लाई सो वी एस स्क्वेर इज कॉन्स्टेंट सो इट्स डेरिवेटिव इज गोइंग टू बी जीरो सो डिनोमिनेटर इन टू डेरिवेटिव ऑफ न्यूमोरेटर विल बी जीरो माइनस न्यूमोरेटर दैट इज वी एस स्क्वेर इन टू डेरिवेटिव ऑफ डिनोमिनेटर टर्म आई टू फाइंड आउट दैट मीन्स डेरिवेटिव ऑफ द डिनोमिनेटर विथ रिस्पेक्ट टू ओमेगा सो हाउ डू आई सिंप्लीफाई दिस डिनोमिनेटर सो हाउ शुड आई सिंप्लीफाई फर्स्ट आई विल सिंप्लीफाई दिस पार्ट ओमेगा स्क्वेर सी स्क्वेर डिनोमिनेटर इज ओमेगा स्क्वेर सी स्क्वेर इन टू आर स्क्वेर आई एम टेकिंग एल सी एम ओवर हियर प्लस ओमेगा स्क्वेर एल सी माइनस वन स्क्वेर डिवाइडेड बाय ओमेगा स्क्वेर सी स्क्वेर दिस इज द टर्म आई कैन टेक एल सी एम सो दिस आर ओमेगा स्क्वेर सी स्क्वेर टर्म विल बी मल्टीप्लाइड विथ दिस आर स्क्वेर सो दिस विल बी आर स्क्वेर ओमेगा स्क्वेर सी स्क्वेर एंड नाउ वी कैन सी दैट ओमेगा स्क्वेर सी स्क्वेर टर्म कैन बी कैंसल्ड आउट विथ दिस सो वॉट इज लेफ्ट नाउ derivative of this denominator where denominator is simplified to this equation that is r square omega square c square plus omega square lc minus 1 square this is my denominator okay divided by u by v rule denominator into derivative of numerator which is zero minus numerator into derivative of denominator divided by denominator square This is u by v rule, and this we have to equate to zero. Now, denominator square cannot be zero or infinity, so that means that only this term, only this term is equal to zero, and that we have to simplify. So we'll see now how to go about it. Only this term I will have to equate to zero. Again, my v s square cannot be zero. That means derivative of this term is it has to be equal to zero. So now I will differentiate this. R square omega square c square differentiate with respect to omega. Omega square derivative is two omega. And R square c square term is constant. Plus omega square l c minus one bracket square. So this becomes two times. Omega square L C minus one into derivative of this. So derivative of omega square is two omega. L C is constant. Minus one H derivative will be zero. So only this part. This is equal to zero. Okay. So now I need to simplify this and I need to find out what is my omega. So now. 2 omega r square c square the negative sign is equal to 2 this is 2 into 2 omega it will become 4 omega lc omega square lc minus 1 okay so this omega this omega is cancelled one of the c term is cancelled with this So now here I am getting minus two c r square is equal to four omega square l c minus one. Again, this four if I take on this side, it becomes minus of half is equal to omega square l c minus one. So if I take this minus one on this side, it will become plus one. So one minus c r square upon two is equal to omega square l c. So now I am interested in only omega equation. So this l c part I will take here. So now I am going to take this as divided by l c. So see what equation I am going to get now. I am just writing the equation over here. I am getting omega square is equal to c. First term is one upon l c. So one upon l c. Minus c r square upon two divided by l c. So one of the c term is cancelled. So it is minus r square upon 
2L. So what we can say omega I am getting as root of 1 by LC minus R square upon 2L. Or I can say that the frequency at which I am getting the capacitor voltage maximum is root 1 upon LC minus R square upon 2L. Finally, we get the frequency at which the capacitor voltage is maximum as 1 upon 2 by root 1 by LC minus R square upon 2L square. Now, I want to relate this frequency with respect to the resonance. And we know that 1 upon 2 pi root LC is the resonance frequency. So, I will take out that root LC term common outside the square root. So, this 1 by LC I have taken common. So, this will be 1 minus, originally it was R square upon 2 L square, out of which L I have taken out. So, only 1 L will remain. I have additionally added C. So, that C will be included on this side. So, now this 1 upon 2 pi root LC is nothing but the resonance frequency into root 1 minus R square C upon 2L. So now as it includes 1 minus some constant term. So we can say that FC is less than FR. That means maximum capacitor voltage will appear at a frequency lower than the resonance. Similar to this way, we can find out the frequency at which the inductor voltage is maximum. That we call as FL. So now we will see the derivation for that FL. So now first I am writing in general what is the equation for the inductor voltage. Inductor voltage is a given by the impedance offered by inductor that is J omega L into the current I. Now we know that current I is a given by supply voltage that is Vs divided by total impedance of the circuit that is R plus J omega L minus 1 by omega C is the current. This is the equation for inductor voltage. Now we are interested in finding out the frequency variation of this VL with respect to frequency. It is a frequency variation. That means I should differentiate this VL with respect to omega. So I will take magnitude of this VL. So how to find out magnitude of VL? Magnitude of J omega L is omega L. Then magnitude of this term, numerator there will be Vs. Denominator, I can write down this as root of R square plus J will not be there now. Omega L minus 1 by omega C square. Now, in order to find out when I am going to get inductor voltage maximum, I should differentiate this with respect to omega and equate to 0. Differentiate VL with respect to omega and equate to 0. This is going to give me the maximum voltage condition. For which frequency I will get the maximum voltage. So now, I should square this in order to remove the square root sign. Same as we have proceeded for capacitor voltage. So VL square will be omega square L square VS square and this root sign it will vanish. So this will be the equation. So now I should differentiate this VL square with respect to omega and equate it to 0. So see now how do we proceed. Again u by v rule. So before I apply u by v rule I must simplify this equation. So in the numerator I have omega square L square V S square. Denominator I am taking LCM. So it will become R square omega square C square plus omega square LC minus 1 bracket square this term divided by omega square C square. So now this denominator omega square C square 
I will check to the numerator. So it will multiply to this numerator. So now this will become omega raised to 4 and c square will be added. So this is the equation I am getting for v l square. And now I should differentiate this with respect to omega. This is the numerator term which I will call as n. This is denominator term which I will call as denominator d. So now again I will have to apply u by v rule. So how do we apply the rule? Denominator term, this term that is into vs square is there. Huh? Denominator term is r square omega square c square plus omega square lc minus 1 square is the denominator into derivative of numerator that will be 4 omega cube l square c square v s square this is derivative of the numerator okay denominator into derivative of numerator minus numerator that is omega raised to 4 l square c square v s square okay numerator into derivative of the denominator so in the denominator i have this term so derivative of the first term is 2 omega r square c square plus derivative of this will be 2 times omega square lc minus 1 into derivative of this term will be 2 omega lc okay that means what we have done denominator term into derivative of numerator minus numerator into derivative of denominator divided by denominator square is equal to 0. This is as per u by v rule we differentiate the expression. Again we can say that denominator square term cannot be 0. Okay. So this cannot be 0. So only numerator part is 0. That means some equation, first equation minus the second equation is equal to 0. So can I say that these two expressions are equal, then only the subtraction will become 0. With this you can cancel out some of the terms. So L square C square, L square C square, V S square is cancelled out. Omega cube term is cancelled with this and only one omega will remain. Now you can simplify this. And then you can find out what omega you get or what frequency you get. So after simplifying this, I am going to get the omega as. That omega I am writing over here now. After simplification, I am going to get the omega value as 1 upon root LC minus r square c square divided by 2. This is the frequency at which inductor voltage is going to be maximum. So we call this as omega suffix L. Now I want to relate this frequency with the resonance. And I know that 1 by root LC is my omega at resonance. So I should take that LC part common. So how I go about it? So I will say that this is also equal to 1 upon root lc into root 1 minus r square. Now there was c square out of which I had taken 1 c common. So only c will remain divided by 2. As I have taken l over here, I will have to divide it by l so that my expression will not change. Now what is 1 by root lc? It is nothing but omega r. It is omega at resonance. So we say that omega suffix L is omega R divided by root 1 minus R square C divided by 2L. So now if we see this or we can say that FL is equal to FR upon this term. This way also we can indicate. FL is equal to FR divided by this. So now this term is going to be less than 1. This term is less than 1. That means resonance frequency I am dividing by a factor which is less than 1. So can I say that my FL is greater than FR. That means maximum inductor voltage 
will be obtained at a frequency higher than the resonance frequency. Okay. So now with these answers, we are going to plot a graph which will indicate the voltage variations of inductor voltage, capacitor voltage and resistor voltage with respect to frequencies. So now I am interested in plotting the voltage variation graph with respect to frequency. That means the voltage has to be on the y-axis and the frequency has to be on the x-axis. So now again I am going to divide the frequency range into two parts. One is the below resonance frequency and the other is after resonance frequency. Now just now we observed that at a frequency Fc which is lower than the resonance the maximum capacitor voltage appears. Similarly at a frequency higher than the resonance that is Fl the maximum inductor voltage appears. So I have first marked those two frequencies. Now with the help of this I am going to plot the graph. At Fc I am going to get the maximum capacitor voltage. So I will say this is Vc max. So now below this voltage will be less and after this the voltage is less. As well as we know that at resonance the inductor uh, or the capacitor voltage is same and it is Q0 times the supply voltage. Similarly for the inductor we can say the maximum inductor voltage appears at Fl. So here it is max. So after that it will drop. And again at resonance we know that inductor voltage and capacitor voltage they are equal and it is equal to Q0 times the supply. Okay. So this is the graph for capacitor voltage. This is the graph for inductor voltage. And now I want to plot the graph of resistor voltage. Resistor voltage is equal to supply voltage at resonance. So the graph will be this way. Okay. So this is the nature of voltage variation. This is what resistor voltage. So this is the nature of voltage variations. Capacitor voltage, inductor voltage and resistor voltage with respect to the supply frequency. Then one more equation I want to state over here. The impedance of the circuit, it varies with the frequency and that impedance is given by Addition of all these three impedances, it is R plus J omega L minus 1 by omega C. Here I introduce one more term that we call as the frequency deviation delta. Where delta is the change of frequency or deviation of any frequency with respect to resonance. So F minus FR upon FR or it is also shown as omega minus omega R divided by omega r or it is also omega by omega r minus 1. If you simplify this, you get this. This delta is the frequency deviation. So in terms of this delta also, we have one formula for z. Z is r into bracket 1 plus j q0 delta into 2 minus delta. So this is one more formula for the impedance. So now in the next lecture, we will see how the bandwidth formula is obtained and what is the effect of generator resistance on the bandwidth. Thank you.